My name is Morni Boyalig and I'm one of the authors of A History of Ireland in 100 Words. We're taking the opportunity presented by the Meet the Author series to tell some of the stories behind the illustrations in the book. The lino cut illustrations were produced by Joe McLaren and Fidelma Slattery of the Royal Irish Academy was responsible for the design and production. One of the striking images in the book depicts a half shorn sheep happily munching some plants, his wool piled up behind him beside the red clippers with which it was removed. This image is designed to capture the ideology of kingship, which is a key feature of medieval Irish literature. That ideology centred on justice and truth, fear in Irish, which is the word that accompanies the illustration in the book. The satisfied sheep, along with the rest of his flock, had trespassed land and unlawfully consumed crops, according to an early Irish tale. The reigning king deemed the sheep forfeit as a result. A precocious young Cormac MacArt, Ireland's most celebrated king in story, delivered a more nuanced judgment. The sheep's wool should be given to the owner of the trespass land in lieu of the eaten crops since both the wool and the crops would grow back. The story records that the assembled people immediately hailed this as the fairer judgment and the sheep, as the image vividly illustrates, were content too. Trespassing animals clearly needed regulating, including relatively uncontrollable bees. Another illustration in the book, this one accompanying the word coioch, blind, depicts a king not so lucky as Cormac being stung by a bee in one eye. The same ideology of kingship suggested that a ruler should be physically perfect, and the king in question, Congal, with his injured eye, was supposed to have been banished from the kingship as a result. Congal's case was used to highlight early Irish bee laws, regulating where swarms could and should not land. The third illustration I want to draw to your attention portrays a pair of bees hovering on either side of a river marking a boundary between church and secular land. If you look towards the top of the picture you can see a telltale building with a cross. The image accompanies the word neveled in the book which signifies a sacred, special place. We chose bees to encapsulate this concept since, according to the early Irish bee laws, which note King Congal's bee sting, bees settling on consecrated ground were subject to different laws to those inhabiting less exalted ground. The bees in this picture know exactly what they're doing, just like our satisfied sheep. If you've bought or read A History of Ireland in 100 Words, we hope you enjoyed it and thank you.